Here I am again. It's been a while since I've made any videos for this Fun After 50 channel. I made videos for the Canadian uh, Thanksgiving period, which was in October, around the 10th, I believe. And then I went to one of my daughter's places where they went away for my grandson's 16th birthday. 16th. He was He's the firstborn grandchild. And they went away for his birthday, so I sat with their pupper and their dwarf hamster named Elle, and the pupper is named Ebony, and oh, they get along so well, it's amazing, because, you know, the um, Labrador's mouth is pretty big compared to a dwarf hamster. I've just, you know, been doing other things, focusing on other things, and now I'm back on the road again. <laughs> on the road again and I'm on my way to visit a friend right now still in the province of Quebec I'm coming from Montreal well actually west of Montreal where my daughter and her family live and I'm headed tomorrow farther east to spend time with my younger daughter and my second born grandchild who is turning 16 in another couple of weeks well on the 21st and today is the 6th so yeah another couple of weeks so I will get back at this but let me tell you what the fun part about today is well I got to take both of my older grandchildren in this family of three to school today so to say goodbye to them en route <laughs> to school and en route to my friend's place and where am I going after New Brunswick well it's looking like Mexico, so stay tuned. Now, I was just in Mexico for 18 months, and I know a little bit a little bit about the lay of the land, but, you know, it's, um, it's different. Uh, I would not have gone back to live in Acapulco anyway, but Acapulco just uh, got flattened, let's say, pretty much. Well, the big buildings are still there, but there's no glass left in them, and... I heard that the small buildings, a lot of the small buildings were flattened. Anyway, so this is not the way it has to be for everybody who's looking for fun after 50. But it's one of the options <laughs> to do not really know where you're going to be by the end of the month. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it is cold here. I don't think you can see too much out of the windows, but if I were to show you you well what i have been seeing it, this is daytime hours it's only 324 time change so let's say it's like 424 before the weekend and there could be a whole lot brighter skies but i can see snow in the skies and i really can i've been able to do that for many many years so I mentioned it just as I got something to eat here and the person said well they said it's gonna snow this week and I said well it for sure is it might be snowing tonight <laughs> because there's snow in the sky so that means that I got to get the heck out of here soon <laughs> so I promise that with uh, a little more time um, during the days I am going to focus on uh, getting these videos uploaded so if you're on my channel, you know, um, subscribe. If you're, if you're not subscribed to my channel, if you're watching me on my channel, subscribe and you'll see them when they come up. And as I've mentioned before, I talk about all kinds of things. <laughs> so, so I'll see you soon. Caught them just in time. See, the snowbirds know to go south. <laughs> Yesterday on my drive here to my friend's place, I saw snow in the sky. <laughs> and um, the person who was making my sandwich for me at Subway said, oh yes, it's supposed to snow this week. I said, well, it's gonna snow tonight because I saw snow in the sky. And we got it. <laughs> Welcome winter. Hence, it's time for this little snowbird to get moving. And in fact, right now it is time for me to get moving, to get down to my younger daughter's place to see them before I go to the heat.
Where's Elle? Where is she? Oh, look at the sock. Look at the sock. Let's go find Elle. Where's Elle? I heard her down here. You're not watching out for her anymore. Where is she? Oh my goodness, she's not there. And she's not over here. Where is she? We better go find her. I found her. We found Elle. She got stuck behind the door. Yeah. Okay, let's let's open the door. There we go. That's a good girl, Elle. That's a good girl, Elle. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Okay, Ebony. Okay, Ebony. Come on, Elle. Good girl, Elle. Good girl, Elle. Can she get back out? You might need to help her. Are you helping her? Okay, you gonna push her with your nose to help her get over there? Almost, almost, she's almost there. Look, help. Oh, you gotta bring her over this way. Ebony. You could just play with her for hours. But she's already been more than half an hour. I think we should I think we should put her back in her cage, don't you, Ebony? Okay. Beautiful pair of great granddaughters. Hey, hey, what did you do with your foot? Ebony? Are you being nice? Thank you. right underneath Ebony and between her front legs. That's too cute. There, she made her way back home. Okay, Ebony, I want to I want to get a I want to get a video of Elle up close. There. There. Okay. She's looking a whole lot more relaxed now. She was like really really puffing and panting, so I've been making her Day. I sat down on the ground with her and the ball was very close to me and so she picked it up and put it a little bit farther away in case I was having a vision issue I think <laughs> and then she goes crazy okay doo 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 yeah she's learning not to bump into me what a good girl what a good girl <laughs> she caught it in the air. I don't think you got that. <laughs> but 